course, for sticking with us on this beautiful Sunday morning. Right now, we are joined with Karina Jimenez, and she is from the City of McAllen Parks and Recreation yes, Department. You are the Marketing and Special Events Coordinator. Yes, I am. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks today. for the invitation. Yes, so of happy course. To be here. So we are in May already. We are. Where did the year go? We have no idea, <laughs> but it's here. <laughs> we stay busy all year long, I and know. of course, summer is our busiest time of year. Of course. So we are gearing up for all of our summer programs. Okay. Uh, we just opened registration May 1st. Okay. And uh, our first session begins June 4th. So we're eagerly awaiting all of those kids and families that are out on summer vacation and mm -hmm. looking for something to do. Now what are these summer programs? Are they just for uh, children? Or are they for adults? Or They're are they? actually for all ages. Oh really? Um, our Learn to Swim program actually is for babies at, starting at six months. Oh my goodness. And we have an adult program also okay. available. Okay. So it is a Gus and Golby uh, program mm -hmm. and we have five different sessions available for people to sign up for and those get booked up really quickly so we want people to go uh, to our guide look at the session that works best for them or sessions mm -hmm. um, and get those lessons in wow. um, in addition to the aquatics we have lots of athletic uh, programming mm -hmm. all of our community centers in three locations Lark Las Palmas and Palm View mm -hmm. located in South Central and North McAllen mm -hmm. have programming that programming includes arts and crafts ballet guitar wow. Um, archery, all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. uh, something for everyone. Wow. Now, is this only for people who live in McAllen? No, definitely okay. not. We invite all residents from neighboring cities wow. to join us. Mm -hmm. We do have a slight difference in the registration fee for resident and non-resident, okay. but we have programs starting at $18 for wow. a full session. Um, so there's definitely that availability. Wow, and this is something that just kind of lasts for two different sessions. Do you have two different sessions that run through the summer? Or yes. Okay. Um, so our first starts June 4th mm -hmm. and our second starts July 9th okay. and ends um, in August. Okay. So there are you know, a few weeks of uh, sessions where they can progress. For example, our theater program, mm -hmm. um, they start and at the end there's a full production oh, um, wow. that Exciting. parents can come see. The same for our ballet recitals. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of have that closing out event where you can really see what your kids accomplish throughout the summer. Oh, exactly. And I think it's important too, of course, to kind of keep yourself and your kids busy, whether Definitely. you know you, I mean, summer, it's easy to kind of just, you know, you want to lay out, right. chill out, <laughs> mellow out, it's been a hard year, and of yeah. course, summer, it's nice outside. Got to keep that mind working. Definitely. And, um, we have our outdoor recreation programs mm -hmm. um, happening at Fireman's Park and our McAllen Nature Center mm -hmm. as well. We invite families to come out on the weekends, ride the pedal boats at Fireman's Park. There's something to do all the time in McAllen. I know. I had just recently found out about those pedal boats actually maybe a few months ago uh -huh. or yeah I think a few months ago and I was like oh my goodness I They're didn't know so this fun. was right here. Yes. I know definitely something to check out if you haven't yet. Yeah. Now okay so tell me a little bit about maybe what you're most what you think is so exciting that you guys are offering that maybe a lot of people don't take advantage of or you think it's pretty interesting. You know, really all of the programs that are offered at our community centers, mm -hmm. the staff at each individual center put so much thought and work into them. And I just wish more kids could have that experience mm -hmm. and really, <coughs> um, you know, feel like they accomplish something throughout the summer and have fun while doing it. So really, I know I'm a little biased, but <laughs> any of our programs, even our aquatics, mm -hmm. um, definitely are exciting and fun for everyone who signs up. Definitely, of course, swimming lessons in the summertime is yeah. perfect. It's, it's going to be hot outside, so you definitely weather, want right? to be in the water, of yes. course. So what are some of the things that um, you see kids most gravitating towards or some of the programs that are, you know, getting fuller quicker or if their people are interested in, they definitely need to sign up now? Definitely our aquatics, mm -hmm. um, our TAF programs. We have uh, team golf, we have oh, track wow. and field. Mm -hmm. um, all of those programs get filled pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course our community centers with usually people from those um, areas. But like I said, we have a lot of non-residents who take advantage. Maybe they're, the parent works in McAllen and they, um, they have you know, easy times to drop off their child and pick them up after work. So we try to make that accessible as well. Definitely. And now, is this something, do, does it depend on the class, I guess, how many times a week it meets, or is it just one time a week? Um, they're usually either four to five days per week, wow, and they're okay. either 30-minute, 45-minute, or 
Uh, we have camps that are uh, full day. We have a dance and cheer camp that oh, wow. uh, each of them is a half day. Mm -hmm. So you could essentially sign up your child to do uh, dance in the morning, cheer in the afternoon kind of thing. Oh, that's exciting. So we really take pride in trying to make it easily accessible and you know um, efficient for everyone who wants to participate definitely and I yeah. know you mentioned these guys where can they go to kind of see a whole list of when these are all offered so we have our extensive guide that okay. includes <laughs> all of the information yeah. on our website at mccallumparks.net and there's a link okay also we ask everyone to s join us on social media we've been sharing uh, previews of the book prior to May 1st <coughs> and now the book is um, online mm -hmm. so all of our social media platforms you can find the link on there as well that'll send you to the full um, turn page guide definitely yeah. now have you kind of attended any of the end of the year productions whether it be theater or ballet or anything you know I uh, I saw the ballet recitals that we just closed out for spring mm -hmm. and it's amazing our Las Palmas Community Center actually set up a whole backdrop it was Beauty and the wow. Beast and then they uh, the different age groups switched to Moana so oh, of course. it was really <laughs> cool they had the backdrop for Beauty and the Beast and then there was literally like the pulling of a curtain and it changed to a Moana scene and the crowd like the parents were it. ooing and aahing and that's you know what it's all about the instructors love to see that kind of stuff that's amazing well thank yeah. you so much for coming on the thank show you. again you said that registration opened May 1st yes so definitely want to go ahead now when does it close again um, it stays throughout because we're still registering okay. for session two through okay, July. Okay. So, Perfect. Yeah. so does it depend if it fills up? Does it kind of just close? Yes. Okay. They each have maximum capacities because we do have instructors assigned who, um, you know, have a certain set group uh, number of kids that they or number of. Uh, students that they would accommodate. Well, thank you so much for coming thank in today. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, folks, if you want more information, of course, go to mccallumparks.net or call 681-3333. Thank you so much again for coming on the show, folks. Thank you so much for joining us this Sunday morning. We hope you will join us next weekend. Have a great rest of your weekend.